Hello all. Uh, actually, I want to share a, uh, a small concept, uh, uh, the Japanese way of uh, corporate uh, governance or whatever you call it. You see, the thing is, that is called Samurai Code. In the case of two very big scandals, one is in the case of Olympus, and in the book of uh, there is a quote exposed by Michael Woodford, who, who was elevated to the highest post the Olympus. Okay, and the other one, where the three billion losses over a period of six years. Okay. Three billion over six years by the covered up by none other than Toshiba Corporation. We all know very well and about the Olympus company and the Toshiba company. The most well known names okay, in the corporate Japan. But why fraud occurred there is because I do not know the history. Many corporations are continuing, but culture is there still. But the Japanese have one culture that is a better read out. Uh, Samurai Court, Makoto, Japanese National Culture. Okay, until there is a book, Bushido, okay, the soul of Japan. In that, Samurai Court is, and where the soul of Japan is, describes the way of the warrior. It's the code of conduct of the samurai. Samurai means warrior. So, Japanese corporations, top down organizations, such as, tend to be more responsive to their corporate executive bosses than the shareholders of the public. They simply obey their bosses without saying no. Those cases, the thing is, when because of some wrong decisions, we have with this very top management and all that, especially in case of Olympus, they took wrong decision, then the funds are wrong, are not properly invested, are diverted, and then huge losses occur. They simply told the people down the road, look, we do not want to show losses. Okay? They did not say, all right. They said, we do not want to show them. And the people down the line in Japanese culture are such, even if the CEO or anybody, or even the vice president, they are simply a very bored in the city, the top CEO, in the CFO, or the other people, or the other, they are simply the chairman, or the top bosses. Okay? They simply, the justification is that we have to be honest to the people who invested. We cannot show them losses at all. Okay. Uh, I think uh, uh, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not in that. Uh, viable explanations for calling up the good facts, which actually are called due to the management uh, of the financial decision uh, uh, making, investment, and all that. Yeah. So coming to the point, these Japanese corporations, top down operations, strict here tend to be more responsive to their corporate executive bosses than the shareholders of the public. Okay? This tradition is based on the Japanese tradition of Makoto, part of the Bushido, this samurai court. Very interesting to read that uh, uh, book of uh, Bushido. Okay? And the Toshiba scandal, or even the Olympic scandal, they are examples of strong right to us. Huh? Uh, corporate culture and governance as per Japanese culture. They are right, they are virtuous, okay, and strong as per Japanese culture. Okay? However, by following the samurai code, though the corporation was making the losses, both in the case of Olympus, both in the Toshiba, okay, covering up the losses by manipulation of accounts, okay, and thus saying committed to the shareholders in this one, but that's not the solution, okay? But that is how uh, the Japanese structure works, probably works in 
every sphere of life. Just simply obey the boss. That's why probably there are more pressures in the Japanese thing. Yeah, Japan is a very forward and uh, developed country, uh, you know, to set up World War. But is it at this cost? We do hear that uh, the pressure of work is so much as usual, it is often high in sense in Japan or in somewhere. And also, they do not. They do not voice their opinions. They do not say no. They do not say like this one. Here, this was exposed to Olympus because he is Michael Woodford, who is a okay, foreigner. 30 years he worked in Olympus. And he, he very highly, highly regarded person, even some of the Japanese colleagues as a multinational. And he was elevated over you know, 30 years to the top position. But within six months of his position, he found out that all this financial model that was being made and he wanted answers, he was sacked, etc. Et 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 Very interesting. Book. So, coming to the point, this culture of Japan has as, uh, showed the path big frauds, biggest frauds in Japan, the Olympus and the uh, case of Toshiba. So, uh, the, the, that is what is this uh, uh, samurai code. I wanted to explain the concept of that. The samurai code, Bushido, the book, okay, that is the soul of Japan, this, uh, this one is a uh, samurai code is a part of that one where they simply obey the bosses, okay? What they say, they do, okay? Whether they like it, they don't like it, they don't express it, they don't discuss it. Basically, by ways and means to do what is done. The fraud came out as a result of whistleblower complaints, okay? But the cases. So, this is what is, <coughs> thus the Japanese cultural values of duty, authority, honor, harmony are so highly valued that individuals are taught to avoid disrupting social tranquility. Do you agree? I don't think. That's not the way you want to talk, right? Okay? As long as all those principles lead to good and uh, no frauds or nothing, it's fine. But not in the cost of higher making frauds and the uh, covering of the frauds on the basis of what? our cultural value of duty, authority, honor, harmony. Okay, that doesn't make sense at all, which goes to biggest corporations of Japan since long years. The Olympus Corporation, the Toshiba Corporation, was fraud, the scandal, the exposure was true. Are they still following? I don't know. Maybe they are following. These few words, I just wanted to explain to you the concept of Japanese law, management, governance. Bushido and the Sunday. Thank you.